It's an electrifying fusion of morality and sensuality with an alternative rock and folk score that has exhilarated audiences for years. The rock musical Spring Awakening is coming to the Straz Center's Jabe Theater next week. And joining me today are cast members Mallory Quinn and Nicholas Burgos, along with director Tony Gilkinson. Welcome. Thank you. Great to see everybody. Mallory, we'll start with you just to get a vibe of what Spring Awakening is about, because I know it does delve into some serious topics, yeah. but I know it's got all the fun music as well. Yeah, there's some fun music. It's mostly um, pretty serious. It's about teenagers coming of age, and um, the show is about a separation between the adults and the children, so, or the teenagers, and they're just discovering themselves and their sexuality, but it's a lot deeper than that, so you have to come see it. To oh, I can imagine. <laughs> delve into it. Yes, a lot to dig into. Heavy yeah. topics. Nicholas, I have to start with hair tips. I need them. <laughs> that, that is beautiful. And it's, Thank you. It's stormy and humid, you know, so you, <laughs> you, look, in with a shower <laughs> you look like you could be on the cover of, of a romance novel as well, you know? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. are looking Thank good. You. Tell us about your role. Uh, sure, I play uh, uh, Melchior Gabor. Um, he is one of the teenagers who I think really, really gets it, kind of what's going on in his uh, community, the intricacies of uh, what drives the adults to push the kids the way that they do, um, and, and how that all unfolds and creates this beautiful story that is Spring Awakening. Nice. And Tony, for yes. you as director, this is exciting because this is, you've gone from Schimberg, you've done mm -hmm. quite a few productions in Schimberg Theater and now in the Jade. Yeah. Uh, since 2010, Mad Theater's been in the Schimberg, so we were really excited to take this production into the Jabe. So a much larger house for us, uh, allows us to be a little bit more different in how we stage everything, and so we're really excited about that, and uh, it's been a lot of fun to just reinvent how we direct a show and put a show on. I bet, I bet. We can't wait for the opening. And I do want to ask about just some of your experiences preparing for your role, because this is, like we said, heavy material. So Mallory, for you, what kind of work went into building your character? Um, a lot of it's drawing on personal experience for me, um, just sitting down and thinking about like my own personal experiences. Um, there's some things that I relate to the character and other things that I have to kind of delve in deeper. Um, my character is definitely very confused about what's going on. She's just very naive. So it is a little bit harder as someone who's 26 years old to <laughs> delve into that, but just a lot of it comes from remembering um, how I felt during certain times and things like that. So Going back to those feelings of yeah. insecurities, and we do want to reference the fact that this is an adult production. So with that being said, is there a lot of a lot of smooching scenes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's there definitely are. not for kids. <laughs> and I know as, as an actor, I'll ask you this, Nicholas, I mean, you get into character, that's the role that you're playing, Absolutely. but are there barriers to overcome when you have to do some things that are a little more risque? Um, yes. Um, at some point, though, it becomes, uh, you've, re you've rehearsed it over and over again, and it just, be just becomes choreography. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Tony, you must be proud. What's something that when you're getting ready to open, you look at this that you're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for folks to see this production. Yeah, you know, I, I'm always, I've been very blessed with a lot of great cast over the last several years um, with Mad Theater. And our show with Rent that we'd had that I mentioned um, was this group that became a family. And it's kind of recreated in this show. We have a cast of 15 people that really care for each other. A lot of them didn't know each other before the uh, first rehearsal. And they got in like these two didn't know each other. And they had to really learn to be teenagers. They know each other now. <laughs> and come and be in love. So it's a great experience and I love it. It's really uh, very rewarding for me. Wonderful. Congratulations. We can't wait for the opening. Yeah. And we want to give you the information. Mad Theater of Tampa's production of Spring Awakening opens next Thursday. For tickets, go to strasscenter.org or call 813-229-STAR.